Morgan Wallen with Florida Georgia Line living up, down, up, down with WILQ. 14 minutes after 8 o'clock. Well, let's go to the down part right away. There's one to Sheridan. Good morning. Hey, Lonnie. good morning. And let's go to the up part. It's Lonnie Gamble. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ted. Good morning, hey, Good morning, Kelly. Lonnie. Good morning. Haven't seen you in a while. What you been up to? Well... Well, you know, the Kappa situation, 17 years now with Kappa, but for the last year, uh, sort of getting back involved in my passion, which is music. Uh, had an opportunity to go to France a few years ago and perform some of the music that I had released in the 80s, and it just re-energized me, man, you know, to, to, to get back to my passion, because so many years had gone by, and I wasn't really doing that anymore. I was just fundraising and everything else and I just started to miss it. You know, a lot of people probably don't realize that you were an international entertainer in the 80s. I mean, I've seen some videos of you in some really weird places. Yes. Uh, my all over the world. All over the world. From 1981 on up to 1989 is when I sort of took a hiatus from the business and uh, and just started to, you know, do some other things. Um, What's the name of that band? That's Lonnie Gamble and Soundcheck. Love it's that band. Right yeah. Love it's that band. Right. Yeah. You were a part of our 4th of July ceremonies uh, for a number of years in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s. And uh, you mentioned Kappa. For the benefit of those who do not know, uh, you 17 years with Kappa. What is Kappa? Uh, Kappa, uh, the acronym is Kappa, but the name of the organization is the Community Alliance for Progressive Positive Action, a nonprofit that was developed to help economically disadvantaged children, just to provide services for kids in need of extra academic support and life skills and self-esteem support. And you've always given back to the community. I remember unity in the community and a number of things that you have done through the <laughs> decades. I can't really remember those days. Oh, I remember those days. So Catholic goes back 17 years, but unity in the community goes back at least 20-something years. So tell us about what you're up to now. I understand. I've heard of the commercials here on WILQ. You've uh, written a song with uh, your daughter and one of your buds, and you're going to create a dance craze, and you're looking for people to help you with the video. Well, we're hoping to. Uh, it feels good, i got to tell you that. About a year ago, I started to work with some musicians, and I thought I wanted to go into a smooth jazz, just some guitar, smooth stuff, direction. But as I started to create the music, I felt that it was more than that. And one day, my co-writer, Tony, came by and I said, you know, I like this groove. I think it's more than just a smooth jazz. Can you come up with something for it? So a couple of days later, he came back and he said, I got it. I said, what is it? He said, three steps. And he started to sing the three step piece. And then we sat down and started to develop the song. Then I got my daughter involved and she came up with the bridge part. We wanted to incorporate all of the dances that people my age could do and peak dances that we can do together with a younger generation.